Have you ever wondered how we could solve some of the world's biggest problems with science? Welcome to the fascinating world of biotechnology. Imagine being a detective, not in a crime scene, but within the intricate web of life itself. Picture this. Dr. Green, a scientist, stands at the front of a classroom. Emily, a curious student, and Max, a skeptical one, sit in their seats. Today, they are the biotech detectives. Dr. Green invites Emily to assist in a pretend experiment. They have a mystery plant that's resistant to a fungus. The task? To investigate its DNA and uncover the secret to its resistance. As they dive into this exploration, Max, playing the role of a journalist, raises a concern. Are you sure it's safe to change genes in plants? Won't that cause problems? Max questions. A valid point indeed. However, Dr. Green assures him that they only change genes after conducting numerous tests to ensure safety. Through their investigation, they discover the gene that makes the plant resistant. This knowledge can now be harnessed to help other plants. Emily, excited, remarks, Biotechnology is like solving a puzzle to help nature. Max, initially skeptical, now sees the potential benefits of biotechnology when done carefully. Dr. Green, proud of his students, concludes, Great job, everyone! Biotechnology helps us solve problems and protect plants. Keep asking questions and learning. So what is biotechnology? It is the science of improving living things through technology. Genetic engineering, a technique used in biotechnology, allows us to manipulate genes. This has vast applications, from producing medicine and genetically modified crops to creating biofuels. In the lab, students can learn about biotechnology by conducting experiments like DNA extraction and bacterial transformation. But it's not just about the science. It's important to discuss the benefits and risks of biotechnology to make informed decisions about its use. To summarize, biotechnology has impressive ways to aid the environment, like producing renewable fuels and cleaning up pollution. But it's crucial to consider factors like fairness and safety. By working together and being careful, biotechnology has the potential to make our world cleaner, healthier, and more sustainable. So, what do we take away from this? Biotechnology helps the environment by creating clean fuels and cleaning up pollution. It's up to us to decide if biotechnology is good or bad for the environment, considering fairness and safety. It's about understanding real examples of how biotechnology affects nature and people, and how we can use it to better take care of our planet. And remember, keep asking questions and learning, because the future of our world could lie in the hands of biotech detectives like Emily and Max, like you and me. This was a Mindset School production, dedicated to the technical awareness of students. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning.